For 40 years, Shista Science City has been a leading centre for ICT, and we still deliver the ideas for tomorrow, today. The story of Shista Science City is also the story of mobile technology. From GSM to 5G and soon 6G, it's all been developed here. Today, the Ericsson Global Headquarters and Regional Headquarters for several companies host visitors from around the globe. Researchers from all over the world working at KTH Royal Institute of Technology, Stockholm University and RISE perform cutting-edge research. Startups and scale-ups take advantage of the close proximity to leading global companies and universities for new collaborations and cross-breeding of ideas. Shistar is the perfect international setting for innovation. Urban ICT Arena is our testbed and co-creation arena with focus on smart solutions for the sustainable city. Here, growing companies, academia and the public sector can accelerate digitalization towards more sustainable cities. The testbed is where the latest innovations are tested and showcased in a real urban environment, providing proofs of concept. Necessary infrastructure for testing is already in place, providing a solid base for tests and trials, including the first self-driving vehicle on public roads in Scandinavia. CAMCOM has been located in Shista for five years, and we are getting more and more out of the collaborations and partnerships created here. This goes for collaborations with the bigger corporates like Intel, IBM and Ericsson. But through the Shista ecosystem, we are also getting connections to other companies like universities. The Shista community has also initiated other contacts for us, uh, for example with Stockholm Start, which has resulted in the smart city project that we have now and the longer cooperation with them. We have also our own AI platform, uh, which can be adapted for different applications and combined with our edge to cloud platform to meet the IoT needs of the smart city. The cluster and the ecosystem that exist in Chista is actually a must for us to be able to succeed. You cannot be world class in every little aspect. You need to find other companies that you can work with, integrate with, and that is something that is really beneficial for us here in Chista. Our mission is to make sure that everybody can drive an electrical vehicle. We make it possible, we make sure that there is power enough and we make it profitable for car drivers and for people that invest in electrical vehicle charging. So we make sure that everybody are winners when they're driving their electrical vehicle. Ericsson is a sustainability pioneer in the private sector, but equally a, an innovation and technology pioneer. And I think this convergence, especially when we think about 2020 and the pandemic globally hitting, it's, it's really highlighted how fundamental the digital infrastructure is really as a backbone of society. So when we think about 5G, uh, and you know how it will enable future development, we really see it as an innovation platform. It's going to transform all sectors of society. What's key is that we have grounded the work we do in two decades of research. And when you think that the, the roadmap, what we need to achieve every decade is to reduce global emissions by 50% every year. That means that digital solutions, this digital technology is making a key contribution to getting there. We know that partnership and collaboration are key to success. Really this engagement, this collaboration is helping to push the borders of uh, what can be achieved on the platforms and the Ericsson technology that we're delivering. But equally, it's able to really feedback uh, that Ericsson can help to scale these innovations uh, to a degree that, uh, that small startups could never do upon their own. So when it comes to IBM and industry solutions, we typically co-create that together with uh, clients and partners. The testbed here in Shista, together with public funding, I think are really crucial in order to draw the right startup attention to complex questions and challenges um, in the area of smart cities. Um, especially since both stakeholders and benefit owners can be scattered across multiple entities. 
IBM has chosen to engage in the startup industry for three reasons. One, we want to be relevant also for industry leaders of tomorrow by paying forward our own expertise and sharing our network. Two, we want to create business partners for the future, especially in the areas of cloud, hybrid cloud, AI and edge computing. And thirdly, we want to complement our own innovation offer to corporate clients. Shistar is the most connected place in Sweden, and not only in terms of technology. There's also a vibrant professional community where individuals network, connect and inspire each other, driving innovation. The world comes to Shista to learn, explore, create and share. The great minds of tomorrow flourish in the high schools and universities. Bringing people together creates the solutions for a sustainable future. Shistar Science City is where that future is created today. Thank you for that inspirational movie. And let's give a warm welcome to the CEO of Shistar Science City, Johanna Engman. Hi, and welcome to Shistar Science City Limited. I'm happy to be here today with you, and we're going to tell you today a bit about how we are working and how we are doing that and what we are working with. And uh, Shisa City has been a leading, world leading center for ICT for about 40 years. So we have a lot of experience with that. And Shisa is a perfect place for innovations. And uh, due to the many companies that are located here, but also for the people who live and work here. So I'm happy to hand over to my colleague, Karin Bengtsson, who's going to take us through this session today. Thank you, Johanna and Maria, for, for the introduction. Uh, my name is Karin Bengtsson, uh, and I am the CEO of one of the offerings that we have at She's the Science City, uh, which is Urban ICT Arena, our testbed and co-creation arena focused on smart cities. And as you've seen in the introduction, in Chisa Science City, we have a very strong focus on, on ICT and also on turning technology into value for society and creating solutions for our common challenges in the region and beyond. And one of our focus areas is smart cities. And since 2016, we have run Urban ICT Arena with a mission to accelerate digitalization for sustainable cities. And Urban ICT Arena is founded by the region of Stockholm, Stockholm Stad, and our academic partners, Stockholm University, RISE and KTH, together with our corporate partners, Ericsson and IBM. And today we also have a large number of other corporate partners and startups that are working with us in the different projects uh, and initiatives that we do. And we all know, and we've been listening to all different talks uh, these last couple of days, uh, and we know that digitalization creates new possibilities and also demands new ways to work together and new partnerships. And at Urban ICT Arena, this is really what we try to do. We bring together corporates, smaller companies, academia and the public sector to really do three things to test, uh, to show, and to collaborate uh, to create new solutions for sustainable cities. And I'm just briefly going to take you through the three different offerings that we have, starting with test and our test bed. Here we give our partners the opportunity to try out new products and services in a real urban environment. Uh, in the test bed, we have prepared a digital infrastructure as well as the support with necessary processes and permissions required in order for different actors to quickly be able to set up tests or proof of concepts or projects in the streets of Shista. We work primarily in the areas of IoT and mobility. And while we've seen that uh, many smaller companies are very interested in the digital infrastructure that we provide uh, with, for example, LoRaWAN or MBIoT or even Wi-Fi nets uh, in the streets, we see that what is even more important is that we provide the accessibility to the street infrastructure and the permissions that you need in order to do tests in a real environment that is most sought after 
and we make that process fast and smooth for companies. We help with the connections to the cities, uh, uh, different services in the cities, so that you don't have to do that, uh, but we help you with that. Our second offering is the showroom. Uh, as you might know, she says very well placed in that we saw in the movie. It's just outside the Stockholm city center and very well connected. And there is a great interest for Swedish solutions for smart cities. And many city delegations and corporate delegations come to visit Chista as we have so many great showrooms uh, here from some of the larger corporations such as Ericsson, IBM and Intel here. And we receive hundreds of delegations yearly. Now, of course, digitally. Uh, and we want to take the opportunity to also enable companies, large and small, to use the streets of Shista as their real life showroom. Uh, and as a small company joining Urban ICT Arena, and what we do here is an opportunity to increase the visibility of your products and services and put them into a real urban context. And that brings me to, to our last uh, offering and the last way that we are working with, and that is, of course, collaboration. Uh, we work in different ways to provide collaboration among our partners and to bring new actors into the ecosystem in Shista and the smart city cluster that we have developed here. And I think Sweden Innovation Days and Ignite Sweden are really great demonstrations of, of how we work and how we connect what we do to the greater ecosystem to bring value to our partners and create new partnerships, opportunities and business for the smart city. And with that, I'd like to introduce some of our projects and partners that I think are great illustrations of what we are trying to achieve uh, and what we together enable in Chista. So we are very happy to have you with us, Robin Jägerstedt, who is the head of development at Chista Rinkeby district in the city of Stockholm, and Stefan Lillestrand, who is the founder of Bambi Labs. So welcome. Thank you. So you two have a collaboration project in, in Shista that very well, I think, highlights how we work and the kind of initiatives that we like to see in our urban environment. And as a matter of fact, I think you actually met a year ago uh, at Sweden Ignite Day. And I think that is also testament to show that uh, the kind of events that we do here today can actually lead to real business opportunities. So I'd like to start with you, Robin. Can you tell us briefly about your role in the city and why you have chosen to work with Urban ICT Arena? Thank you, Karen. Um, my, my role in the city is um, to help my organization uh, take, take the opportunities that uh, the corporate sector uh, brings, brings to us and to the society. So I'm kind of a bridge uh, from my organization to meet uh, organizations like you, uh, Karin, and the Urban ICT Arena. And uh, it has been proven this last year that um, this collaboration has been very well. Uh, I mean, you, you guys have helped us uh, explore new ways to innovate in our organizations. For example, finding small and medium enterprises that can help us with our challenges. And like you said, be the bridge that we need. And I'm very happy for this uh, co uh, collaboration. Great, and uh, we're very happy to have you. And, and Stefan, uh, a little bit, who, what is Bambi Labs and, and who are you and your um, role in, in working with Urban ICT Arena? Uh, hello, and nice to meet you all. Uh, my name is Stefan Lindestrand. I'm the Chief Science Officer and Founder of Bambi Labs. Uh, we are big, based in Stockholm, Sweden, but we operate in many markets. Uh, Bambi Labs provide crowd and foot traffic data and predictive models for government and smart cities and public transport. We collect a lot of anonymized location data from Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular tower data, etc., and train our models with uh, uh, different data sources. Uh, we, have a very, we are very unique in this field since we're the only company that's officially approved by a data authority in Europe, so that's re really strong for us. Our relationship to Urban ICT Arena is as a partner in the ecosystem for startups, and we are very happy to be a part of that. I think it's, it's almost four years now, so very, very happy to be a part of uh, Urban ICT Arena. Great, and we're so happy to, to have you with us. And, and you've, as you said, been a long time partners. But can you tell us a little bit about what you two are doing together? Uh, what pilot are you running here? And, and what sort of makes it uh, unique and, and interesting to, to others? Um, 
Mm. For start, I, I can tell that we have one pilot. I'm going to tell about, uh, about it in uh, just a few seconds. But we have another pilot also coming up in our ICT arena, uh, which is a proof of that this first pilot has been very good. So um, uh, just to mention that we, we are we're preparing You're for another scaling. one. Also. Yeah, we are scaling. Thank you. Uh, but the first pilot. It has been up and running for the last three, uh, three months with Stefan, uh, our business partner. Uh, and it's uh, developing an IT solution uh, that hopefully aims to help us increase our knowledge about the patterns and demands of the needs created by our citizen visit visitors in our civic offices here in our district. Uh, this stuff I will tell you more more detail about how this works. But for us, uh, it's very very important that this is a GDPR secure method, and we have already uh, seen uh, valuable data in, for, in form of uh, resident visit peaks, their length of stay, which service they use. All data we are so happy to have now, so we can adjust and tilt our services so we can serve the citizens the, the demands they have like they want it. Great. So it's so a really good way to showing that you're working more data driven uh, as yeah. well. Stefan, could you tell us a, a little bit more from your perspective about the, the pilot? Sure, sure. Um, you know, first of all, I want to give a big thanks to Robin for being in the forefront and really understand the need, need to be data driven. It's a, it's a worn out word almost. Um, but, but I think, again, it, it's very important to have that. Uh, in this pilot, we collect and, and predict foot traffic for citizen service offices in Kyrgyzstan in Kibi. And the reason is to, uh, to, to have an, a better understanding of all the data and when the volumes of people are coming. And I think what's unique in this is also to understand and optimize the services for, for specific citizens and also prevent the spread of COVID-19. Uh, a part of our system is also a crowd alert system that's mm -hmm. very well used for this. And I think that's, uh, you know, with the pandemic, I think it's really important to have that. Uh, we started with two offices. I think we're also rolling out in more public spaces now together with Robin. So we're very, you know, it, it's a really interesting project and I think it's uh, looking good. Great. I think it's a good way to show you that we are working with sort of real demands uh, from, from the city uh, and also that you can use a, a test bed or an in, um, innovation cluster like this to actually start something that you can also scale very quickly if there is a true demand. Exactly. But can you tell us a little bit more what you gain from being in an innovation cluster? Why do you think it's important to, to be part of, of uh, things like what we have today? Mm -hmm. So I think um, our city district and the corporate sector both gain a lot from being in, in this innovation cluster at Urban ICT Arena. For us, it gives us, uh, like I mentioned in the start, uh, access to expertise and know-how that we often lack in our municipal organizations, uh, and which has been proven that we, ha we don't have the know-how that uh, Stefan and his co uh, company have. Um, and for actors in the corporate sector, I've, I work with Stefan and another uh, small medium enterprise. I, we have heard that the, the collaboration gives them a chance to be better anchored in this local community and the challenges we have here uh, and see the both technical and the social challenges uh, we have in this environment uh, that I think if we didn't collaborate, they might otherwise miss. Great, thank you. And from your perspective, Stefan, I know you you've been really active in, in networking and and uh, taking advantage. I think of, of being in an ecosystem. Yeah, and I think I, I'm a strong promoter also for Urban ICT Arena because I think it's it's been very productive for us to be a part of this. And also one of the magic part I think that Urban ICT Arena has been really good at it's match uh, you know actual needs from from corporates uh, to startups and in the end the uh, customers. So it's, it's not yet another startup pitch. It's just a, a very interesting collaboration way to, to, to collaborate. We've been very successful. Uh, we uh, connected with companies and at least five uh, projects through Urban ICT Arena throughout these four years. So I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, well, uh, it's, a, it's a good result of the collaboration that we have. And, and at the phase that we are in right now, I think the access to big corporate partners and, and real project and customer has been really positive for us. 
Thank you. Thank you, Stefan and, and Robin. Uh, it's a really good example of showing what we do and how we like to work and how we like to connect, sort of re make real business uh, for, for you as well. I'd like to now hand over to uh, or move on to two of our other partners um, uh, who runs one of our most cutting edge projects in the mobility focus area uh, from Telia and Ericsson. So we have with us, uh, I think, uh, Therese uh, Hellerus from yes. Telia. Hi. And hi, Therese, and also Stefan Myrberg from Ericsson. Perhaps. Seems that Stefan has some issues with connecting, but we'll start with you then, I think, Therese. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit briefly about the project that you are running uh, here uh, called 5G Ride that you are working with uh, together with Urban ICT Arena? Yes, of course. We are, uh, we are a lot of different parts in this. So we're a collaboration. Uh, uh, and uh, I think it's so interesting because we are working with uh, transportation and self-driving cars in two parts of, of Stockholm, but uh, mostly in Shista now we, we have the self-driving cars. And it's a great collaboration where we, I think we gain a lot. And how is this? I know there's also been the project is called 5G Ride, and there's been a lot of interest on, on that. And how is this sort of helping and, and supporting the 5G rollout in, in Sweden? Yeah, I mean, the 5G will give us uh, so much uh, capabilities in so many different areas. And this is one area, uh, I would say, in when it comes to autonomic or, or um, self-driving cars. But is, is the 5G will enable a lot of different areas in the future. And actually today, because where the rollout project is uh, going as we speak. And I also have with me our, our colleague, Sarah, uh, who will help me to, to explain a little bit more also about the project and what we are doing uh, in the project. Welcome, Sarah, who is our mobility lead in Urban ICT Arena. Thank you, Karen, and hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, so uh, 5G Ride um, is a really cutting edge uh, project that we have going on uh, together with uh, all of our partners. Uh, so we have Intel, Ericsson, uh, Telia, Keolis, uh, but also uh, small companies such as the engineering with us. And it's also a good showcasing of uh, uh, what we are capable of uh, once we join forces and do something together. Uh, so the main goal for us is to actually highlight the connection to both the control tower and also, uh, as uh, Teresa said, uh, uh, the capabilities of 5G uh, with its uh, um, low latency and, and uh, uh, short response times. So if you want to do something on autonomous vehicles and, and cutting edge, uh, you should really come to, to Shista or speak to, to my colleague, Sarah. But can I ask you, Therese, uh, why is it important for Telia to be part of an, on a, in, an innovation cluster and to work in this kind of partnerships? Yes, of course, it's really important for us because all the showcases and all the cases that we, we do must give a value to our customers in the long run. So. Uh, of course, this collaboration is important for us to, to be able to get uh, technology knowledge and how the customer and the operate, bus operator works and so forth. So it's both technical wise, but also business wise. Great, and, and we have a lot of viewers here. So I'll, I'll open also to, to Robin and, and Stefan, perhaps. If you saw that do a, we could make a wish uh, from the people that are, are watching here today, uh, who else are we looking for? And what are the partners that we would like to see in our ecosystems? Are there any um, ideas on, on that from, maybe we'll let uh, Therese uh, start. Is there anyone else that you would like to see to, to join the ecosystem? Uh, I think uh, the ecosystem can be really broad. I think uh, we should collaborate because the, without our collaboration, we will not. Uh, so you mean like different partners there that you want to see? I want to see uh, actually a broader perspective. I would like to see uh, like uh, drones or uh, different type of vehicles in the future that we that we see not only on the ground but in the 
yeah, in the air as well. <laughs> Great. So we would we would actually really welcome drone companies as well. That would be very very cool. Robin and Stefan, do you have any anything that you would like to see? I mean, we have a lot of viewers here. Who would we like just to join us? Uh, well, I think it's it's uh, we collect anonymous location data for over thirty million people a day. So I I, I would guess uh, a lot more AI companies from Europe. Uh, there are uh, AI initiatives in, in Europe uh, from the EU, and I think it's, uh, many of those are also actually Stockholm and Sweden-based. So I think more AI initiative uh, would be good in Sweden. We have a lot of initiative, uh, but I think uh, even more would be good. I think this is the future, I think so. Great, thank you. And Robin, uh, who's actually our neighbor based here in Shista, who would you like to see in the, the ecosystem if you could make a wish? Uh, for, for us, we have just discovered uh, in our organization the power of data-driven uh, way to see our services. So um, to start more companies that can uh, attack our services and make them more data-driven, Stefan has taken the city's offices, but we have uh, um, services as uh, kindergarten, children, elderly people, uh, companies that work to co uh, collect data that can help us improve our services in th those areas uh, is my wish to have here. Great, thank you. So I think that is all our, our um, wishes for, for new partners or for those who are, are watching us uh, who have interesting solutions that can help us build sustainable cities uh, using AI uh, and working close to, to citizens that we would really welcome you uh, to come here and use the, the test bed and the co-creation arena that we have here uh, and work together with us. And with that, I'd like to, to give the floor back to, to Maria. Karin, and uh, I have actually a question for you uh, from the chat. There is an independent innovator working on uh, eliminating the cause of road accident completely without AI 5G. How can I reach out to you? So how do uh, him or she uh, get in contact with you, Karin? You, I think we can add our, our emails uh, and our website also in the chat. So you are very welcome. And actually, Sarah, who is with us, is our mobility lead. Uh, so just send her an email, and I am sure that we can uh, we can find a way to to work together. Thank you so much. So uh, thank you very much. And I see that. Uh, we have some questions for Bambi Labs. Uh, they want to discuss more. And we are uh, so happy that you are active in the chat. And uh, please uh, give more questions in the chat. I can see that Sara is there. Thank you so much, Karin, for a really interesting session. Thank you, Maria.